hello my name is crime many events and welcome to this channel please if you are new to this channel kindly subscribe put us on post notification so that anytime you upload a new content you have access to it today i want us to learn something and that's how to create a beautiful orange juice label for your business remember that this uh, these steps can apply for a couple of designs a couple of food label designs in photoshop let's begin First of all, I'll, I'll create my canvas size and in this case I'm going to use 1000 pixels by 1006 pixels and a resolution of 1000. Now I have my board. The next thing I'm going to do is to create my background color and I'm going to use a gradient which is a shade of yellow. have my background color set now I'm going to add my test I'll add my test the first test I'm going to add is the orange juice test orange And I'll make a duplicate of it and then change it to juice. I'm going to drag the juice layer below the orange layer. And I have my font set. I'll change the colors to yellow. And then apply a blending option for the two tests. I'll go to blending options and then select a stroke for it to 95 and then also apply a shadow for my test. I'll copy the layer style and apply it for the use layer so well. and I'll have my test beautifully as you can see. My product is natural and fresh and so I'm going to add a test that says fresh and natural. We are going to do that in a very simple way. I'll create a rectangle and then change the color Pick a gradient but then I'm going to change the color to green so that it will bring that natural theme in my design or the organic nature of my content my rectangle inside this I'm going to type fresh and natural I'm going to group this and convert it to smart object and transform it to a very nice shape. I'll press Ctrl T, then I'll press this with custom, select flag, and I'll change the bend to 25. To reduce it a little, and then put it on top or the orange like this. Okay. I'm going to group this as one and one group. Okay, so, and I'll name it orange layer. 
<laughs> the next thing I'm going to do is to add my add an image of an orange to this design and so I'll go to file place embedded and then I'll select my orange now I'll adjust it increase it a little so I have it there I'm going to add an effect to it I'm going to make it look like it was in a fridge and so it is it is a bit chilled I'm going to place embedded go to my download and then search images so you can see this chilled or wet glass effect and I'll change the blend mode to soft soft light and then create a mask for it select my brush select the soft brush and then clean portions of the wet glass effect and I will reduce the fill to 70 now let me make it 85 okay Going to add another thing to it so that um, I, I want to lay emphasis on how natural my product is. So I'll go to main event folder and then add 100% natural. I'll change and convert this to smart objects and then reduce the size and drag it onto my orange one. Uh, design is taking shape. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is to add my logo, my food and beverage logo. So I'll go to place embedded and then select my logo. It is in white font. I want it to look better than what I have here. So I will invert this to black so that it will be very easy for you to read i just press ctrl y and i have it in in black and i'll reduce it the size a little you're almost through with that design the next thing is to add uh, information test to it that's where we have a uh, uh, say produced by contacts and the ingredients yeah you can go on and add the nutritional um, facts about your content if you have that and so with my I'm going to add just the production information and then um, the ingredients and how to keep it safe Now I have my test here and I'm going to add another thing to it to give some to pass some information that's to inform um, consumers to keep the city clean and also recycle the containers.
so now I have my design almost ready. I'm going to add a little bit of effects to the background and then our design is good to go. now I have my design all done so this is my final design as cool as you like it so that's how we design a simple and a beautiful food label for your business in Photoshop kindly go through these steps and let us have your feedback with regards to any challenges or any success you are able to make Please, if you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe, put us on post notifications so that anytime I upload a new content, you have access to it. See ya.